Hi guys, so what I'm going to do is go through what we are, what we bought today. So I am mom to 14 children, 12 of those children are still here at home, and we are going on a camping trip. So we will be going camping for seven days at one campground and then two days at another campground. Plus we'll also be doing some like day type road trip type thing. So you'll see a lot of um, prepackaged foods and those are specifically for those times. We have this um, snack container that we fill up with different snacks and stuff for this time of year. I like to keep um, it full so if we happen to be someplace we can have a picnic or we can grab a snack. We love doing hikes and walks and picnics and that type of stuff. So I will show you what I got. But mind you, this is not the healthiest haul that you will ever see us do because yeah, I need, we're actually where we're camping has um, no electric and no uh, water hook up right there. There is a water spigot up just a, a couple sites or whatever, but um, so there's neither of those things. Um, so we're kind of like dry camping and also, um, trying to think you can't have a fire like right there at the site I guess you can have a fire on the beach so I don't know how often we're gonna be like having a fire but this is what I got all right let's start this is just random honestly I it's hot and I yeah I just had everything get slammed on the table so I got two things of these Gatorades and that's not showing up too well. I actually got three. I got two of these and then one of these kind um, of the Gatorades. Just, we're gonna be on the beach and we may need a little bit of boost. We got some marshmallows to over the fire, some gluten-free mint Oreos, and then over here I have some gluten-free double stuffed Oreos. I got three bags of peaches. These are actually for us to eat before we go. I got some cinnamon graham crackers because cinnamon graham crackers are better than regular graham crackers for s'mores. I got some packets of sugar in the raw. Those will be, um, these will come with us for our coffee. We have some Slim Jims. Those will be coming with us. These are for my husband's um, lunches. He has been so hungry lately because he works um, really physical, a physical job. He runs, um, lines and stuff for the internet company so um i have ne <laughs> this is so funny it has been probably hmm 20 years ish showing my age here that i have used boil in a bag rice but i thought the boil in a bag rice might be quite handy if we're camping and quick cleanup so i bought boil in bag rice so i bought um two of these boil on bag rices so over here we have a jumbo mayo this does have soy in it so normally we are um uh, gluten-free soy free and non-gmo corn only but it is different this time because we are camping so the person or people that need to do that will be doing that other people will not be. Vanilla wafers, I thought those would be good for travel. I got these little cookie packs. Let's be honest, if you're like hot on the beach all day, sometimes you don't necessarily want to eat. Sometimes you just want like a granola bar. And so that's why I have bought a lot of like um, quick and easy things. Okay, so the Slim Jims, we have the Oreos. We have two packs of these 30 packs of crackers and then for this week I bought for fruits I got the peaches that we j I just showed you and then I got three watermelons two cantaloupes one honeydew melon and ten three pound packages of bananas let's see if you can see them in there those are all green we're gonna do the melons first I did find this bread um, gluten-free multi-grain bread when we come back from our trip we will be going all back to gluten-free um, we actually felt a lot better. I felt a lot better since I've been going gluten-free. I feel so pudgy in the middle. My weight is totally the same. But if you look at pictures from like this time last year, if you look at videos to this time, 
I look so much fatter. It's because like the gluten just like has bloated me up. I was um, gluten free at that point. I have been sneaking now and not totally 100% gluten free. So we'll be doing that when we come back. Also some kids have said that their eczema has come back. So we need to, beginning of August, we need to get back on the gluten free train. Um, but one of my daughters has been really good about staying gluten free. So I found this bread and this bread is actually really good. We did not like the other kinds of breads that we had bought before, um, but we do like that one. And there's actually eight loaves there. So I got a few different types of chips. Most of our lunches camping are going to be um, sandwiches. You'll see some of that stuff. Sandwiches and chips and fruit. So we got that variety and then this variety. So I went to Sam's and I went to Walmart today. These big things are from Sam's. This was from Sam's. I got two of these. These were the um, most economical ones. I got those two. And then my husband loves Cheez-Its. I got those ones to make him smile. Um, we got creamers. So what we'll do for coffee is I'll bring regular coffee and then creamers and then those sugar packets that I showed you over there. And that's what we'll have for creamers. So I kind of divided it out and we would need two cases of creamers because we have five people that are drinking coffee. We got one Fiji water. Fiji water is actually the cleanest water in the world or so the most recent tests um, said. So it has mineral, a high mineral content. So it's really good for you. So we got those. And then I thought that we could also refill these bottles um, for drinking. We got some pretzels in a nice container like this. So we got some beef burgers. We will bring one of these with us. Um, we will be having um, one day with hamburgers. And then these two are actually for other times that we have people over or that we're going someplace that will bring burgers. Um, so then we have six almond milks for the freezer. And then I got this cheese that I will rebag after I get off this video. And we have one of these will be coming with us and then the other two will be staying here. Two hot dogs will be coming with us. We will have these for one of the days. So we'll have hamburgers for one day, hot dogs for one day. And then we have some lunch type things. So pepperonis, and then we have honey ham. I got four of those. And then I got two of these black forest hams. I don't know where the other one is, so I'll have to send somebody out. We got eight butters. I got one mild cheddar, one Colby Monterey Jack, and one pepper jack cheese. Then I got three cream cheeses. I have scapes right now, and I'm gonna show you guys on a different video on how we make our scape dip. It is so, so yummy. Um, so we are running low in some of our half and half, so I got eight of those. We got some non-fat plain Greek yogurt. We use this to make different things, including our ranch dressing. So we will be making ranch dressing to take with us. I got some cucumbers just for snacking for my husband's lunches. Coconut oil is the cheapest at Sam's Club, so I got three of those. I got hot dog buns and hamburger buns. These will be going in the freezer. We will be taking two packages of each. I got six of each. We'll be taking two packages of each, maybe three packages of each for our trip and then um, keeping the rest here for when we entertain, I guess. So I like this, but this was all that they had. They had two and then they had one big one. So I'm gonna see if locally, if they have any more of those. Here was the missing Gatorade. So here's the other one. So I got two of the fruit punch and then one of the other one. We probably will not be taking all of those with us, but it'll be good to have anyway. So this here, I had actually never seen this before except for online, and online it was really expensive. So I don't know why they started carrying this again, um, but this was at Walmart, and I went to Walmart first, and I was like, this is really cool. So this is whole, uh, dry whole milk. Um, so normally they only have the non-fat dry milk. So I was like, 
whole milk that would be awesome especially if I'm bringing my two-year-old she's actually two and a half um, she still has a bottle which I know I know throw your tomatoes but she still has a bottle and um, I put whole milk in that for her so I'll probably end up bringing the smaller one so this was on was $22 and then I went to Sam's Club so this is 53 servings and this right here same exact thing bigger container 73 servings was $23 so if you have a Sam's I had never seen this at Sam's before um, but this was at Sam's um, that was a great price and I think what I'm gonna do I think I'm actually gonna take some of these and maybe like whenever I go to Sam's try to budget in because I think it's great I I keep non-fat dry um, powdered milk as like a uh, food storage so I think it'd be great to have the whole milk option um, for the food storage so I think I'm gonna grab some each time I go okay so these raspberry fig bars these I believe are gluten free let me see oh no I thought those were gluten free those are not gluten free are these ones gluten free no those are not gluten free either well now I thought they were gluten free they do have these in a gluten free brand um, so I guess my gluten free person is not going to be eating those but I thought that the fake bars could be good for even a quick breakfast it's real fruit just mixed in there um, these I thought that we could use for maybe one day towards the end of the week for um, a fruit to go with the lunches so I'll share my menu um, as I get that together and as I'm packing up these are our go-to for any type of outing we'll grab a package of those and we'll grab a peanut butter and there we go we have lunch so that is our go-to um, I got some of these bacon crumbles I like these for salads so I have one for salads and then the other one I'm going to bring for our trip because I think one of the days we're doing um, baked potatoes and if we're doing baked potatoes that day I couldn't remember if I changed it or not then I'd have we would have those to go on top of the baked potatoes okay so then these are going to be way more than I need for this one trip but I have the mayo packets and then I have ketchup packets we will not use this for one trip but it is only July and we have July and August and September and October that we're going to be outside. So I'm sure that those will be a blessing to our family. Okay, so I got, I didn't even say how many I got. I got six of these rice cakes this time. Um, and then I got some organic chips. I will be bringing some of those with us. One of the days we are having, we'll have these chips canned refried beans and some cheese and that will be a quick easy meal so two bags if we we're doing that then we would have two bags for a meal here's some potato chips those are just for um, my husband or for around here my friend Sarah shared um, a recipe that really worked well um, I don't have the minerals I didn't buy the minerals yet but it's a homemade electrolyte recipe and I'm gonna start making that every few days, just for hot days like it is today. And, cause I don't like buying like Gatorade and that type of stuff because it really has so much sugar in it. And this is like a natural alternative, but I am gonna keep the Gatorade for times like, hey, we're going on vacation and I can't necessarily make this big batch of stuff. So um, I bought a bunch of lemon juice. That the, One of the main ingredients in there is lemon juice. It also has apple cider vinegar. Um, if you'd like for me to share that recipe, just make a comment down in the comments below and I will share her recipe and what I have been doing to alternate that until I get the minerals. Um, so this coffee will be going with us. My husband loves peanuts, so I'll probably keep this and then that will go like right by the driver's seat in the vehicle that he's driving. None of my basil has actually come up. I have tons of other herbs, but the basil has not come up. So I wanted basil and I bought these two plants. They were like 250, I wanna say. Oh, they smell so good. 
these I was walking by and these I do not know why check out your Walmart were only 66 cents I don't know why but cool beans I got four packs for 66 cents now I needed a lot of gluten-free pasta and this is definitely not enough but it is a start um, it will do us for the month I did find a bunch of spaghetti so I think altogether I got 13 let's see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 I got 15 of those um, that would be five meals for us because we do three pounds at each meal and then I got whatever they had for this pasta so I have some elbows and then some penny this is the cheapest kind that you can get and I only got a few each of this I think maybe five of one and three of another I also got this I've never used this before I wanted to give it a try um, ahead of time and then if I can oops, I'm trying to focus in on this and then if I can maybe I'll be able to use that on our trip but I'm not quite sure my friend Sarah um, they were just up and um, she shared a recipe with me that used like a pancake mix actually it used Bisquick I do have a recipe for Bisquick so I'm gonna try it with the Bisquick and then I thought that I would try like with the pancake mix as well and just see what I liked better and then some gems and Laura bars this is for the person who is gluten-free some cookies I needed I ran out of um, I had canned some baked beans if you haven't seen that video um, go check that out but I canned some baked beans and so I ran really low in my beans so I grabbed what I could here I think I got two four six eight ten maybe ten um, of the beans so that would be 20 pounds of beans so those are each two pounds and then I got the gluten-free flour and I was able to get six of those so this is what we look like Oh, I almost forgot we're coming back over here I did um, so my grocery budget and my household budget are separate my grocery budget for the month is 1500 and my household budget is a hundred dollars every two weeks so um, the toilet paper would actually run in the um, into the household budget but I actually had a credit because I have a credit card um, that I was using. I no longer have been using um, the credit card, but through Sam's and I had a credit on there for $18.55. So I think I spent $13 on the big thing of toilet paper. So that's the toilet paper that I get. And if you cost it out, um, price per square, this is the cheapest toilet paper around. Yes, I'm that nerdy. I actually price out toilet paper by the square. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then this is a thing of beauty. This is a thing of beauty. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can get that in there. We have 60 pounds of honey. So it is in this big container. My health food store gets this for me. We used to raise bees. Um, we have tried numerous times to raise bees and our bees always die. Um, we have caught swarms. We have done like so much, but our bees have never lasted more than two years. So I started buying local wild um, Maine bee honey um, from my health food store and we absolutely love it. So this is our grocery haul. I am excited about this trip. I'm excited to share you share with you guys all the things about our trip we are going camping like tent camping um with 12 of our children and then we could possibly be meeting my mother 
my son and his wife, but I'm not quite sure. We'll see how that goes for um, part of the trip. So that is exciting. We are excited and I'm going to take you guys along with each of the things how I get ready for camping. So I hope you join me and I hope you all have a blessed day.